Hi everyone, this is Ray with the channel Love Water Healing, and I'm here to do a reading for all of my Aquarius folks that are out there um, for the week of May 3rd. So we've got the Guardian Angel Tarot cards, the Flower of Life cards, and then I might also do the Earth Magic Oracle cards if I feel like we need to get something extra. Okay, so let's see what we have for you here. Uh, for all of my Aquariuses. Make sure you check your Sun, Moon, and Rising to get a full picture of what this week, May 3rd, holds in store for you. Okay, Aquarius, what do we got here? Let's see what angels have in store for you this week. Okay. Let's see what we have. Oof, there it is. Okay, this is called Letting Go. I feel like you guys continually get this angel card. So it says... Releasing the past can seem like a challenge, but it can also be liberating. Your angels will help you let go so that you can fly higher than ever before. Endings always herald new beginnings. Choose to allow the situation to lead you to a more joyful life. Change your life by changing your thoughts. So this is really interesting. I feel like you guys can consistently get this card um, to remind you that it is okay to let go and then it is important for you to let go in so many uh, ways let's see what the flowers have for you this week um, I'm just wondering Aquarius what you're dealing with in terms of past challenges it looks like you're gonna have to go through some healing it's called healing yep I sang it for you feel into you and realize that giving and receiving of love in all its many amazing shades of magnificence is the key to healing. Every illness is a symbolic message from one part of the self to another concerning your emotional responses to life. You uh, let yourself heal. Use your will, your intention, and your wisdom to understand with compassion the perceptions and experiences that you carry. Become intimate with you before trying to help another. Respect the right of another to carry the pain they choose in order to find the truth of the higher self. Pain is the way your higher self gets your attention. It is the way, um, in this way it is amazing, wonderful universe that is you shows you where you hold in balance. In doing this it can bring you into balance so you can fulfill your potential. All is perfect in this moment. And that's really cool because it tells you straight up it's like hey if you have pain pain in this area your body is just showing you like you're imbalanced if you get a headache um this is where you need to balance out maybe there's stress levels maybe there's sinuses maybe um there's uh you know um i've had too much tv or too much cell phone use or whatever it may be um and this will also give you the opportunity right to start working on letting go some of the things that may be challenging at this time ask your angels for help um even if maybe you don't believe fully like before you go to bed at night i mean who's really gonna you know no ask your angels for help and just say i'm really needing assistance at this time i'm giving it away to you because i no longer um, have the energy to be able to do this you did get another card um it's called inspired action and it says Go into alignment and your action will be enlightened and inspired. Different vibrations will inspire different actions. If you're feeling tired, your inspired action will be to rest or sleep. If you're feeling love, your inspired action will be loving actions inward and outward so you will think of loving thoughts and do things that will emula emulate love in your day. Difficulties arise when you demand of ourselves things that don't match our current vibration. Like I was saying, talking about healing here. It's really important that you follow what feels good. Everything happens energetically before it occurs physically. If you try to do it in another way, you will feel frustrated, sad, and defeated. Get into feeling, um, get into the feeling you think you will feel when you have the thing that you desire and your inspiration to create more of the same will come to you. So all this is telling right now is as you let go, you let go of something that no longer serves you, it opens up and starts a new beginning for you. Um, in this new beginning, you can start working on healing yourself. I know you guys can't see that. and It's like weird light or whatever. Uh, learning on working on healing yourself, and then it will inspire you into action because it is a new beginning to 
Make sure that you align with how you feel. If you feel tired, go to sleep. If you feel happy, laugh. If you feel sad, cry. Get out the emotion first before you start to really push forward because emotions do bottle themselves up in our body. And you have what's called a psychosomatic emotional response. And what that means is that if you hold an emotion too long in a part of your body, you start to have a chronic challenge that comes along in the body versus something that was just temporary because you have let that emotion fester and you haven't released and let go. So a really good way of letting go is to ground yourself outside, drink a lot of water, um, and journal right? You can journal through things that are happening in your life and you can really bring into action um, how you get into that boat right on the river and let the river take you as opposed to you constantly fighting against the stream and bringing up that frustrated feeling or sadness or I mean revenge whatever the feeling is that you are having that's constantly coming up if you start to notice a part of your body that's starting to hurt or if you just fall randomly and twist your ankle, that's where your body's holding on to that emotion. So it's really important for you to learn how to let it go. And if you need any more uh, information about letting go of emotions, please don't hesitate. Um, you can always email me, uh, aquaamore11 um, at gmail. Um, the email is down below if you would like a private re reading. Uh, thank you so much for coming to watch my channel. Make sure you check your sun, moon, and rising signs, Aquarius. As always, love your water and love yourself, and I will see you on the next video. I love you.